Hey guys, I'm Matt Kelly. It's been a while, I'll tell you what, but I'm pretty excited. We're back in shark season and I've got a little one on the line right now. Let's do it. Well, you have it. Bit and clean off already. Been out here for about five minutes. I saw one fin hovering around about 100 meters, or not even there, about 50 meters that way. Looked quite big. It was definitely a, a shark. I just saw him sort of just come up. I uh, really just saw the fin just drift up out of the water. I've also had a couple of hits. Okay, so that's interesting. That's two bitten clean off immediately. That's another one. I literally just saw two hits and then gone, bitten off. So I'm gonna add wire to these. I didn't have wire before. I'm gonna add wire to these, put a big circle hook on them and float them back out. Cause that's pretty crazy. Oh, a little tiny one. Oh. Another one. I thought as much. Little reef shark. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look at him. All right, we'll release him and let him go to fight another day. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a really big one. There's a big one on that reel. All right, let's try and get rid of this guy real quick. Can you hear that drag? Holy shit. That's big, whatever that is. Off he goes. All right, that one's just going off. It was a big, hard hit. Looks like he's still there. Let's get on it. Yeah, there's something on that. All right, let's go. All right, he's not that far down. Let's go and swim out from under the boat. Fuck you. Oh yeah, he's heavy. Oh, he's heavy. He feels like a shark the way he's... I'd love to get him out from under the boat. Oh, it's a much bigger one. It's a much bigger shark. Oh, these March flies are killing me. Oh, hammerhead. Good sized hammerhead. Look at that. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, jeez. He's got some fight. Woo. He's not 
He's not ridiculous, but he's a great size. Oh, yeah, there the head shakes there. Trying to get off the line. Let's try and get him up to the surface here. It's not good form trying to do this with one person. Oh, he's darting around a bit. Come on. Oh, there he is. Whoa. He'd be probably 80 centimeters long. Absolutely amazing animal. Oh. He's got plenty of fight, tell you what, oh, geez, for a, for a shark that size, he's got plenty of pulling power. You might be able to tell I'm using a bit heavier gear than I used to. Um, basically, last season got to a point where without using braid, you just, you just couldn't, couldn't land the fish. All right, let's do it. Oh, there he goes. Just missed the angle, but managed to get the pliers in the corner there. A little bit scary, getting close to the teeth, but um, I found a way. All right, that's three good, three good fish. Oh, it's warm. It's a warm summer's day here in, um, in Brisbane, Australia. Just managed to get the pliers into the corner of the shark's mouth. It's quite nice having those circle hooks. They do a really good job of, well, effectively hooking the fish themselves, right? The way they sit in the corner with that little bend in the corner of the hook. They grab onto the corner, they flick in. So all you've really got to do is get in there with a pair of pliers. And um, as long as you put a bit of downward pressure, it's usually pretty easy to release them out. Um, it depends on how hard they hook themselves like any hook. But I find the circle hooks are by far the easiest to get out. And um, let that fish go swimming on its way. So that's a couple of little reef sharks and a... A nice, I reckon roughly 80 centimetre hammerhead, which is a, a great way to start the season, I think. Might go for a bit of a drive around, a bit of a cruise, and then head on home. I've got a lot of uh, videos and trips planned for this summer. In fact, I've already actually filmed a couple of videos at this point. I'm, I'm really excited about this season. It's been a long time, as many of you guys remind me in the comments of the videos, it's been a long time since I've posted. So uh, there's also been quite a few modifications to the boat, which I should probably mention. There's that bow rail which is actually the original bow rail from the boat. I ended up, um, I was just gonna throw it out, but uh, after a few slippery slippery days on the front deck, I realized that you really want one, and heck, why not Why not try and restore one, rather than, than buy a new one, or, or even worse for me, try and manufacture one. I've also uh, pulled together a new anchor system. You might be able to see there's a pipe there that runs through, through to the deck. And, um, and the anchor goes over the bowsprit. It means I can control the anchor from under the front deck, which is much nicer than trying to climb around when there's any swell. Um, there's a boarding ladder on the back, which you can't really see there. But I think what I'll do is, um, oh, I added a, a bung into the, um, the engine well there, just because when it fills up with water, water was just pulling in there, and I had no drainage systems in the bung. There's a few little modifications that I've made. So I think I'll, um, I'll end up doing a full, more comprehensive video for you guys so you can see what changes I've made to the half cabin restoration project. But all in all, great boat, great day. Welcome to summer here in Australia. And um, thanks so much, guys. See you soon. Cheers.